So I have been meaning to do this video for quite some time now, but a lot of people do not know this. If you're new to the channel, my name is Kira Wood. Thank you. I love you. And it's, it's a pleasure to have you here. Join the channel. Amen. Join the family. Subscribe, like, and share the video. But a lot of people don't know this about me, but I went to a spiritual growth center and I learned a lot. So this video is going to be really, really short, but I'll do another video, a fuller video on the experience. If anybody is interested in it, let me know. A spiritual growth center was basically a place where you can go for anybody that just wanted to get a relationship with Jesus. And for me, it was at a point in time where I had actually surrendered my life to Jesus. And in the spiritual growth center, we would read the Bible twice a day for 30 minutes at least. And then we would go to classes all day long, um, just hearing testimonies about te uh, from other teachers and yeah, this video is going to be over a minute. So anyways, <laughs> so just hearing um, it, testimonies and teachings and preachings like two or three times a day. And then we would pray three times a day because in the book of Daniel, they, uh, Daniel, he prayed three times a day, right? So we would pray three times a day and that would be for two hours. So we would pray in the morning time. It'd be an hour. We would pray in the morning time and then we pray for 30 minutes in the afternoon, um, actually it was like six o'clock. And then we prayed 30 minutes at nine or nine 30. And so we did that every day, Saturday, we would have off days. And then Sunday, of course we had service and Wednesdays, of course we had a uh, worship service. So it was a wonderful experience. I learned a lot. I mean, it wasn't perfect. No church is ever going to be perfect or anything like that, but it was, it was really close, you know. They did a really, really great job at, you know, trying their best to stick to the word of God. And so that's where I got my strong foundation from. Amen. Um, I know a lot of people that are coming up in the prophetic movement or it is a movement because God is moving, right? He said in the last days he was going to pour out his spirit on all men. And so this is a move of God that we're seeing. We're seeing the kingdom grow we're seeing the kingdom flourish right and so that's why god is raising up apostles he's raising up prophets he's raising up evangelists he's raising up teachers he's raising up um pastors like pastors have already kind of been here but you're starting to see the other you know fivefold ministers begin to start rising up because god is like i need you guys to wake up i need you guys to see who you are and for so long they have been oppressed okay so long you know and the part of the reason was because of the enemy and the other part was because of jealousy a lot of it was because of leadership that you know needed some refining right and so but god allowed everything to happen for a reason because he was ushering in a new era right he was ushering a new era and as the old era was going out a lot of leaders was not actually paying attention or privy to the movement of God because the spirit of religion can come in and that's what often what often what happens but anyway this is not that type of video so I want to just explain to you that I had a wonderful foundation with the word of God I had a wonderful foundation with being taught how to honor you know your spiritual parents being taught all those fundamentals so it was a really 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 wonderful um foundation for me and so I just give God the honor and the glory because not a lot of people had that experience or will have that experience because it just you know we would we can never go back to what it was right after 2020 we know that it, it, it will forever be changed but you know God is ushering in something new. And so we have to move along with it because we have a generation that's going to be on fire for the Lord. Amen. We have a remnant that needs to be raised up, right? So everybody that is hearing the Lord, that is hearing the call, they are being equipped, they are being prepared. And so I admonish you to continue to stay on the wall. You better be like Nehemiah. I'm not coming down from this work. Amen. Because the enemy has a plan. He is trying to stop the work of God. He is trying to stop the move of God. But I, in the name of Jesus, intercept that and all the intercessors stay on the wall, stay on post in the name of Jesus. And that means every believer. Hallelujah to God be all the glory. I love you. And the point of this video is to stay grounded, stay grounded in the word of God in Jesus name. Amen.